In the previous video, I mentioned there are multiple ways to solve one problem. For example, there are multiple algorithms to sort a list of numbers. Now, if that is the case, how do we analyze which one of them is the most efficient algorithm? Generally, when we talk about performance, we use an absolute measure. If I can run 100 meters in 12 seconds, I'm faster than someone who takes 15 seconds. Analyzing algorithms, however, is slightly different. The absolute running time of an algorithm cannot be predicted since it depends on a number of factors. It can change based on the programming language used to implement the algorithm, the computer the program runs on, other programs running at the same time, the quality of the operating system, and many other factors. Keeping these points in mind, we evaluate the performance of an algorithm in terms of its input size. The evaluation is of two types. First, we have time complexity, which is the amount of time taken by an algorithm to run as a function of input size. Second, we have space complexity, which is the amount of memory taken by an algorithm to run as a function of input size. By evaluating against the input size, the analysis is not only machine independent, but the comparison is also more appropriate. Imagine if one algorithm is faster than the other for a small input size, but slower for a larger input size. We would never be able to accurately judge which is more efficient. Keep in mind, there is no one solution that works best every single time. It is always good to know multiple ways to solve the same problem and use the best solution given your constraints. If your app needs to be very quick and has plenty of memory to work with, you don't have to worry about space complexity. On the other hand, if you have little memory to work with, you should pick a solution that is relatively slower but needs less space. All right, now that we have an idea of what time and space complexity are, the next question you might have is how do we represent the time and space complexity of an algorithm? Well, we do that using asymptotic notations. Asymptotic notations are mathematical tools to represent time and space complexity. There are mainly three asymptotic notations. We go notation for worst case complexity, omega for best case complexity, and theta for average case complexity. Now at this point, if I were to explain their theoretical definitions, it would unnecessarily confuse you. Instead, I want to make this more practical and easier to understand as a beginner. Once you get a fundamental understanding of these concepts, you can then, on your own time, refer to articles that dive deeper. Now the first step in being practical is to not worry about the best and average case complexity. As you deal with problems, you'll realize that we are primarily concerned with the worst case scenario of an algorithm. And to be honest, it is what is asked during interviews as well. You're more likely to be asked, can you tell me the big O or the worst case complexity of the algorithm you have just written? And for that reason, our focus as well will be on the worst case complexity in this course. So in the next video, let's learn about the big O notation. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.